So to upgrade the the goggles, it's quite simple. I'll give you a quick run through of upgrading these. You go to their download section on the cadexfpv.com webpage and scroll down to where it says firmware here and select the latest stable if you want to try the beta. It's also on there for you as well, but select the stable version, download it, and then basically just copying the uh, Goggle X ground file onto the SD card of the goggles. When you uh, do this, make sure that your, your battery's got plenty of charge in it because you don't want your goggles to lose power during uh, 10 minutes that it's supposed to take to update the firmware uh, could result in a brick system so make sure you've got plenty of battery charge on your goggles before you upgrade the firmware so like i said download the avatar gnd ground image to the computer ground is for the headset sky is for the vtx moonlight uses a different one um, that's also in there but we're talking only the goggles in at this stage Okay, first use the avatar goggles uh, to format the SD card that's in your goggles. So just go into settings, record set, and click format SD card. Then remove the SD card from your goggles and insert it into the computer. Put the avatar ground image file onto the SD card. Eject the SD card from your computer and insert it back into the goggles. Now once you've done that, you want to power back up your goggles and wait till it finishes booting up till you see your standby screen. And once it's there, use a tool like a, a pen or an Allen key to push and hold the red link button. Push and hold that for eight seconds. The headset screens will go black, indicating the start of the update process. The update will take around about 10 minutes. Um, I've found it's taken less than that, so allow between allow at least 10 minutes for it to finish. Uh, during the update, the goggles will beep. That's absolutely normal. Make sure you never ever turn off the headset until the update is finished. When the update's complete, the beeping will stop and the headset will boot back up into its standby screen. Very important guys, don't turn off the headset while it's in the middle of updating the firmware. Wait until you see the screen come back. Uh, enter the goggle settings menu and uh, select reset. And that's pretty much it for, um, for your firmware update. Very simple. So now we'll move on to the firmware update for the VTX. Make sure you also have a fully charged battery in your craft at all times to, to have this update properly. Also make sure you've got it under a fan because the VTX will start to get hot. So you don't want it to overheat during this process. So make sure you've got a fan on it. Got plenty of cooling uh, before you do this update. Again, loss of power in 10 minutes may result in a brick system. So be very careful there. And uh, like I said, make sure you use a fan to cool the VTX to prevent it from overheating. So now we go back into our firmware folder that we downloaded earlier. And what we need now is the sky image for the VTX. Moonlight has its own image file that needs to be copied and pasted into the VTX storage. Connect your transmitter to a computer using USB. If your transmitter is wired to the drone, simply power up the drone with the props off for safety. And uh, you should see the transmitter storage appear on your computer, just like it would as an external storage device. So put the uh, avatar sky image file onto the transmitter storage and disconnect the transmitter from, from your computer. At this stage, the LED on the transmitter should be blinking green. This is where you really need to make sure you've got your fan and keeping the, the uh, VTX cool while this is taking place. You have to push and hold the link button, which is on the back of the transmitter, for eight seconds. The LED on the transmitter will turn off, indicating the start of the process. During the update, the LED on the transmitter will blink red. When the update is complete, the LED will blink green again. Now, I have found every time I've upgraded the VTX, it seems to be a lot faster than the goggles to do a firmware upgrade. So, again, very important. Make sure with the VTX you've got the fan on it, keeping it cool and enough battery power to keep it powered up as well so it's going to stay powered up while it's doing this process and don't touch it until you see the led blinking green again 
Another thing you can do after you've done your firmware upgrade is you can also download and unlock procedure for higher power output and more channels. So download the file that says unlock procedure, which should be in the same area where the firmware downloads are on the download page. Download the two text files, avatar std text and avatar power text. The avatar std text unlocks all your eight channels and the power text unlocks 1000 milliwatts and 1200 milliwatt transmit power. Remove the SD card from the goggles and insert that into your computer. Put the two text files onto the SD card. You can put both on at the same time if you want both or just one if you want either one. If you just want the eight channels, uh, you would put the avatar std.txt file only. Eject the SD card from your computer and insert it back into the headset. And all you have to do then is just power up the headset, wait till it finish booting up so you can see the standby screen. And pretty much the process is complete and your headset will now have um, access to more channels and higher outputs. So you can go into your settings then and um, have a look and confirm all that and set that up. And one last thing you can do is um, up update your uh, OSD fonts. So also just down, just go into that tab just below unlock procedure and pretty much follow everything it tells you in there. You're just going to be again copying and pasting the folder, the, the font update folder into your SD card root directory. And then basically going into the goggles once they're powered on and selecting font update in the menu there. So that's about it for uh, this little video here just to show you how to update the goggles firmware and the VTX firmware. Hopefully it helps some people um, do it correctly and not brick their system and also unlocking the extra power and extra channels if that's what you choose to do. All of it's pretty simple if it's followed correctly you shouldn't have a problem at all. So anyway I hope it helps some people. I tried to keep it as quick as I could. Keep on flying guys and enjoy the hobby inside and out. Bye for now.